Well, the serpent is a most delightful and improbable instrument. It's a much more complicated instrument, I think, than some people give it credit for. It defies all the laws of physics and acoustics. The serpent takes a lot of work on the part of the musician playing it. Uh, it's, a, it's a very difficult instrument. In fact, one of my colleagues in the serpent trio, Alan Lumsden, when he's asked, is the serpent difficult, he says, no, it's impossible. <laughs> but you wouldn't think it if you listened to him playing. Three of us who'd all got involved one way or another playing serpents used to get together and enjoy playing things. Well, serpents have got three special qualities of sound. At the bottom, they sound a bit like a tuba, not quite, but th there are familiarities when you listen to it. The middle range is something like a bassoon, not quite the same, and the top range is a bit like a horn. And therefore, if you play three serpents together, you've got a three-octave range, if you want, and you've got three quite noticeable differing qualities of sound, so that a, a trio of serpents, for the players anyhow, is fun. And then we found that we were enjoying it, and friends were enjoying it, so we gave some public concerts, and we found a lot of audiences enjoying it. And it just is rather a delightful way of giving people a chance to hear an instrument that was used for 250 years, uh, was highly valued during the course of its career, it's been the subject of jokes, but then, well, bassoon players know all about that too, and tuba players too. It's possible to give perfectly enjoyable concerts uh, with three serpents. We did a very successful tour of North America in 1981. We played to audiences in Europe as well as this country. It's distinctly eccentric, but if you want to know what the serpent sounds like, well, the London Serpent Trio gives you a very good opportunity.